when you were, I, we did the Weta presentation and we were showing a lot of the, um, the, the concept art for it. It was really interesting, but I wanted to know, you as a director, I mean, this is your first film. Do you find working with a kind of pre-existing franchise and universe like this, do you find that inhibitive? Um, well, no, no, it's actually, it's, it, it's because it only exists in the book. Yeah. Um, on words, so so there's there's a whole lot of interpretation you can do, um, and it's great actually because we have a story. <laughs> yeah, sure. You know, yeah. So so we have a screenplay, but um, no, 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 it wasn't. It was actually it, it was it was, uh, it, but it didn't it didn't alleviate any of the challenges and 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 having to bring it to screen because it's quite easy to write. Oh, the giant, the, the, you know, the giant traction city of London. Is rolling across the landscape, but then to show that on screen, yeah, and make it believable. Yeah, you're suddenly met with all the design challenges of making it feel real, look real, move like it's, like, you know, at the right scale. Mm. So yeah, um, yeah. Hope that I'm not sure that answers your question. No, no. <laughs> um, your first film. I mean, I understand like it was quite a difficult production in the sense of like there was a lot of moving parts. No mm. pun intended. Yeah. Um, has it made you gun shy about directing again? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I th- well, y- y- yes and no. Um, no, no, it hasn't. I mean, it's look. It, it, I was in very safe hands. It was. I mean, this is a sort of a collaboration um, between me and Peter Jackson, Fran Walsh, and Philip Burns. Yeah. Um, so no, I mean I'm a little, I'm, you know, I'm still, I'm still a little sore from it. Um, just, just, just the, 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 the actual exhaustion of it. Yeah. Um, but no, I'd, 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 lo- I'd you know, I'd, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd love to, I'd, you know, want to keep going. Yeah. Would uh, something at this scale, or would you go for something smaller, or what do you think? Uh, I'd, yeah, maybe. Look, I, I, I'd, I'd, I'll go for whatever, you know, whatever's whatever got a good away. screenplay. Whatever, yeah. you know, whatever's got a good script. It's all about finding something that actually has a story that you feel is worth telling or or, 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 or a kind of movie that, that that's original and new, you know. So, yeah. Were there any films that you watched during production to kind of give you a bit of a an edge? To, well, not an edge, but sort of like a, an inspiration. Because it is very unique. Like. Yeah, well, I mean, you sort of look more at films as examples. I mean, the, 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 the point of making, you know, movies is to tell new stories right and and you know with this we wanted to show something that was original so we looked at a lot as far as what not to do right. and not, not not that the films that we looked at were would have been bad films or anything yeah. but you look at them and go okay well that's been done before we don't want to do that again do something because different. we want to do something different so um you know um i sort of you know when we when we pitched the film i sort of drew a triangle of so i said look you know mad max star wars harry potter as an aesthetic yeah and we want to be, we want to find a new, a new thing in the middle of here. So, you know, we don't want to go, we don't want to pinch from here or pinch from there or pinch from there. We want to kind of Get it find our own thing and 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 and, and yeah. The, the, so that was like a, a guiding, a guiding principle really around around sort of all the design decisions that we made. Yeah. So. Having somebody like Peter Jackson working with you, I mean, I know like you're a fan of his, and it all like he was telling the story about the fan letter when you were a kid and stuff like that. Um, does that? I mean, I, I I know you kind of said this already that it was a comfort to have him around mm-hmm. the place, but I mean at the same time, I mean, would you not think that's him kind of like? Would you second guess yourself? I guess. Oh yeah, you. <laughs> I know yeah. that's right. I mean, in the sense of like he's standing behind you, and you're thinking, okay, did I make the right decision there? That sort of thing. Well, you do that anyway yeah. as a director. As a, you know, you're always, you know, the final decision rests with you on on, on stuff, and so you're always second guessing yourself, and yeah. you've just got to learn to to shut off that part of your brain so that you trust your instinct, um, you know, and not think about I should do this for any other reason than it's actually it just feels right. Yeah. It feels like you know what it should be. And in, and in that regard, I mean, I knew he was sort of, you know, looking at what we were shooting, but he was never on set looking over my shoulder or giving me suggestions. So he yeah. really gave me my space, um, which was, you know, really generous of him. Um, and I'm sure if I had really started screwing up, I would have got a phone call. Sure. But I kind of didn't get that phone call. So, you know, but he was also there to help out. Um, we had a second unit um, that was directed by Glenn Boswell, who's a great stunt co- coordinator. Mm. Um, but then as the as the second unit sort of started to get bigger because you know the script was getting bigger but the schedule wasn't yeah 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 <laughs> um you know 
Pete came in and directed, you know, directed, QC, yeah, 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 which was great because then I didn't actually have to worry about that. I yeah, of course, to, that's locked you off. You know, yeah. a lot of the, you know, you, I mean, usually you, you know, when you do a first film, you don't even have a second. Yeah. Unit. So you're just worrying about what you have to shoot. You don't have to look at what they're shooting as mm. well. You're trying to get your own shots. And then you sort of got to look at what they're getting and kind of give them feedback and be thinking about two different pieces of the puzzle. Yeah. At least when this, you know Pete came in to help out, I could just go, okay, right, I actually don't need to worry about that at all. Yeah. Because it was in very safe hands. <laughs> there you go. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Okay, man. Yeah, yeah. This weapon can wipe out the largest city in the blink of an eye. Not if we shut it down. Nothing can stand in the face of this. We have to stop London before it destroys us. You sure you want to do this? Once we go in, there's no going back. I have to.